this is a question I get asked from time to time. What's the right way to hold the pick or plectrum? Well, my short answer to the question is that there really isn't one correct way to hold the pick. But I'm going to show you a suggested starting point. If you've never used a pick before or are at all awkward or uncomfortable using one, this may help get you going. Assuming that you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, simply reverse these instructions. Start by taking hold of the pick in your left hand, holding it by its pointy tip like this. Then hold out your right hand, more or less as if you're about to shake hands with someone. Now balance the pick on the edge of your right index finger so that the pointed tip of the pick extends about two or three millimetres, say three eighths of an inch, past the tip of your finger. Now close your thumb over the pick like this. Grip the pick firmly but not too tightly. Allow enough slack for the pick to be flexible. Like this, rather than like this. Now, get the idea that as you strum downwards, your thumb is pushing the pick while your index finger holds on just firmly enough to prevent the pick from moving around too much. And as you strum upwards, Get the idea that your index finger is pulling the pick up and your thumb is holding it just firmly enough to prevent it moving around. Notice that holding the pick firmly but not too tightly allows it to easily reverse direction as you strum. So that it is always pointing backwards. trailing behind the motion of the hand. A lot of beginners make the mistake of holding on to the pick too tightly. And this not only makes for rather a harsh sound, but it also tends to actually increase the likelihood of the pick leaping out of your fingers, because it is in effect fighting the strings of the guitar. From this basic starting point, which you may like to spend some time practicing to get used to it, you can then go on to explore some of the finer points of pick wielding technique. One of the first things you can experiment with is the amount of pick that you leave hanging out, the amount by which the pick extends past the fingertip. I actually find that much of the time I have the pick so short that I am in fact partly using the finger and thumb to contact the strings. The pick is just there to prevent the finger and thumb from too much wear. But if I want individual notes to stand out a little more distinctly, I let the pick out a bit as I'm playing. And now you could say I'm picking more than strumming the strings. So instead of the softer strumming sound that I get with a short pick, I let the pick out a little bit and you can hear more individual notes. If I want quite a hard edge to my sound, I swivel the pick round so that it's more in line with my index finger and keep the tip just protruding. I probably use this when I play most riffs, for example. But for most strumming action, I allow the tip of the pick to swivel round so that it's almost pointing into my palm. And now I'm using more the rounded edge of the pick 
to get a nice smooth sound from my strumming. Of course, all these little tricks take practice time to get on top of. And eventually, all these little detailed adjustments will automatically make themselves as you play. But early on, it's important to push yourself to experiment, just to see what different sounds and different feel you get by changing different things. There is, of course, always more to learn about this subject, but I'm hoping the contents of this short lesson will be enough to get you going and to encourage you to experiment. If you found this little video useful, please do click on the like button if there is one, or leave a comment. And do feel free to share the video with your friends. And if you'd like to gain full access to all our guitar teaching materials, please do visit the Secret Guitar Teacher site and take a free look round at what's available there. See you again soon.